Hello, Libra. Welcome to your reading. Let's see, what do you need to know? Okay, we got two coming out. All right, ooh, you look good, worry less. Are you worried about your looks? You worried about if somebody sees you as you look good? Are you worried about if a person has their eye on you? They do. What are they looking at? Like, what are they looking at? Like, like, do you have the effect that people stare at you and you like, I wonder what they're staring about? Because you look good. Like, stop worrying about that. Um, somebody, we have pregnancy here. Pregnancy has definitely been coming up for Libra. Congratulations to everybody who is pregnant. All right, we got good news when it comes to love and pregnancy. So for some of you guys, you can definitely be in a union where you definitely will be pregnant. Or for some of you guys, you're birthing something new within a love union or something that makes you really, really happy. We got the alarm clock coming out and we have chill out. Chill out is time. Oh, whoa. It's time. And that's usually what pregnant people say when they when their water breaks. Oh, shit. Y'all remember when I was saying I didn't know y'all was that far along in your pregnancy. When I was saying within the next nine months, I think I said this about maybe a week ago. I would just say maybe like two weeks tops. The message was coming out that within the next nine months. A person was going to be birthing something, okay? And birthing a wish coming true. <laughs> we have the alarm clock. Chill out. The alarm has rang. It's time now. Something is it's time now. Worry less. You look good. For some of you guys, a some type of wish for fulfillment involves you being around or involves you being in a spotlight with a lot of eyes on you. For some of you guys, you're going to have a lot of eyes on you and you may be in your mind thinking about what are they looking at? I wonder what they think. Do I look good? Am I, you know, whatever. You look good. Stop worrying about something. For some of you guys, you're just worried about this. There's this pregnancy. It's time. The water. The water broke. Oh, I see flames. Oh, I see flames. I see flames. I see the heart. I see the key. This looks really good. Really, really good. First of all, you have flames protection. Neutralizes all evil. Brings good fortune. And it neutralizes all evil. You have the heart. Joy. Joy when near. I feel somebody's heart beating. Like the fact that like all of these are symptoms of something like just coming right then and there. Like it's time for this thing to come. Heart beats fast. <clears throat> this is good fortune. It's protected. Then we also have the key. Some of you guys, this is a house. You're coming from a place when you recently, the roads could have turned dark on you. This comes from something that was light, really, really light. And then the roads turned dark on you. All right. We have the bear. Somebody is speculating. Also, you may not even be pregnant, but you may start feeling a little bit of, of um, abdominal. Um, I don't want to say pain, but I will say, but just feel like a little, some feelings. Some feelings there. Wow. The clover is the bearer of good tidings here. Somebody has really, really, like this new moon brought in a lot of blessings. Um, and like right before your eyes. 
this time. The bearer of good tidings. Because you gave something, there's something that you gave or there's something that you were. There's some type of offering that was being that was happening here. For some of you guys, there's something that's going to be a certainty, like a certain, certainly successful for you. I do want to go into the shaman. I normally don't do this here, but I wanted to go into the oracle deck. Oh, the farther gate. There's a bold step forward. For some of you guys, you took the bold step forward. All right, let's see. At first, oh, your shadow taught you a lot. Somebody's shadow is teaching them a lot about something, showing them. And these could be excruciating messages that you're getting from your shadow. You could be learning after your shadow then showed its ass, okay? <laughs> and you could be like, oh, not that. Not that anymore. 5533. Five five three three. Five five three three seven nine four five. Some of you guys, you transmuted your pain into some type of creation where you were super inspired. For some of you guys, your pain was your muse. For some of you guys, your shadow is your muse, which is a beautiful relationship when I think about it. Or somebody needs to make their shadow their muse. Shadow is the inspiration. And wow, open up the deck and we have the netcaster. Preparations come to fruition. Like it's time. It's definitely time. Somebody just sit there, just to sit there and create something to make some type of creation. And look, the shadow is coming up, the root girl. The shadow needed some direction. So for some of you guys, it's your shadow that's creating. So you let your shadow come out and your shadow kind of creates. There's something that you're doing here. I feel like somebody could definitely be an artist, a writer, a musician, a painter, a speaker. Did I say actor? Singer, rapper. They could also like be an athlete. Somebody has a lot of eyes on them or will have a lot of eyes on them. Somebody needed direction. For some of you guys, there is some type of help. There's some place where you to go. Something needed some type of structure. There's something for you. Let's see. All right, we got the Queen of Cups coming out. Real sensual energy. The hangman. Tapping into your intuition allows you to see something differently. Allows you to hold on to your valuables. Or for some of you guys, it allows you to see that you could have been holding yourself back. You do have the Empress at the bottom of the deck. You are the Empress. Duh. Someone is winning something. 
This comes with a sense of surety. So for some of you guys, you definitely could be going through like some type of epiphany. You're going to see something completely different. Let's see what else. Tell me more. There's some valuable information that you're going to keep to yourself. Okay. That's what the hangman is looking, looking at. Some valuable information that you're going to keep to yourself. There's also some type of message that comes to you. There's a messenger here. The moon is, is really, really full. The moon is the desire. Something is really, really full. I feel like this is giving you illumination. Somebody sees the second face of something or seeing the face of the moon. When is the full moon? On the 25th. It's a little wild here. Wow, okay. Okay. And, th and this is the world card. So something hits you by surprise. Something completely expands. Somebody is, is witnessing a different face of something. So you witness something new, something, you know, opposite than expansion. It could, it could be scarcity. It could be lack. Um, or you evolving. You could have been felt like you were going backwards, but something hits you like completely off guard. There is some messages. Tell me more about the four of pentacles so I can see if you are supposed to be. Oh, we got the two, three and the four. The ace of cups. This would be the tower. Yeah, this would be exposure. So for some of you guys, you see, see yourself as holding yourself back or holding back something. And then now you express, now you expose, all right? You expose something and this brings in a lot of expansion. Like it's time. The baby is coming and this baby is wish fulfillment. The wish fulfillment could be expansion. It could be this next level, success, worry less. Yeah, you do have a lot of success here. For some of you guys, your heart is going to tell you your heart beats fast or is going to start like beating a certain type of way. For some of you guys, your heart, your heart beats are in sync. Um... Or your heartbeat is in sync with somebody or something. It could be a beat or something. But yeah, it's time. Chill out. Now is the time. The clock has rang. Like, it's time now. All right, I'm going to leave your reading right here. I hope this reading resonates. If it does, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.